Hey everybody, this is Flammy. We've got something pretty special here today. We have Jorge Yao, and we've got one of his attacks. That's right, Jorge was able to record one of his attacks, and he is here with us to help commentate over it. Jorge, take it away. So here we have a maxed out base. We have an Archer Queen on the left and a Barb King on the right. I activated both, and because the Town Hall is located more towards the north, I decided to go in through the north side with two Golems and three Pekkas. Waiting for the P.E.K.K.A. and Golems to take out the first layer of wall with some wizards behind them. King and Queen are going towards the P.E.K.K.A.s and the P.E.K.K.A.s are taking them out. Waiting for things to clean up a little bit before I drop on the next layer of wall breakers to get through that middle section. Once those wall breakers are in, you gotta be really careful, make sure that everything on the left and the right side is cleaned up towards the north so that the king and queen are able to go straight through towards the town hall, you rage it. Easy town hall destroyed, Inferno's taking out a few wizards and pekkas, but you got your queen and the barb still uh, close to full health. And now you just sit back and wait. Do you worry about these bombs and traps and that stuff at all? Um, in the beginning, in the drop zone, you do. Uh, it, it greatly affects the the wizards, especially. Yeah, so you don't want your wall breakers and your wizards to hit them. Okay, that makes sense. But you've Correct. used your entire army at this point, really. So there's really nothing else to do other than sort of hope your units are able to take out the rest, right? Right. Uh, is it likely so that you three star bases typically? No. So it is. There is a little bit of luck involved. Um, things have to go absolutely right in certain conditions for for it to. For you to get a three star. So you're so normally when people are attacking, you're just hoping to get one or two stars, right? So how rare is a three star? Uh, pretty rare. This is pro one of my first ones, I think, uh, with with a full defense. So a maxed out base the first time you've three starred one. That's pretty cool. That's pretty impressive, or at least first one in a long time. Um, right. These golems, is it particularly helpful when they break into the little ones? I can imagine the inferno tower. Does it reset when they break into the little ones? Uh, yeah, so the Inferno Tower, the reason why uh, we uh, I decided to use three golems this time, one in the clan castle, is because the Inferno Tower, the more units you have, the more times it has to reset. So the more wizards, the more uh, golems to split into two. Um, so the goal is to distract the Inferno Tower while your king and queen are left untouched and basically clean up all the mess. Awesome, that makes sense. So let's load that up once more and ask a couple more questions as we go through it, if you don't mind. Sure. So, attacking with the Barbarian on the left and the Barbarian on the right. So, first on the left, that activates the Archer Queen, right? That's the goal? Right. And, and, and then the one on the right for the Barbarian King. Okay, so Correct. now they go to the top. Do you not worry about Clan Castle, guys? Um, not not so much. I mean, the Clan Castle actually, depending on what's in it, could um, help. Uh, nowadays, you see a lot of people putting in dragons, uh, a mixture of dragons, um, as opposed to previously people used to put a uh, mixture of Archers and Barbarians. Interesting. Um, what do you think is the most scary defense in a maxed out base like this? The most scary defense? Probably the walls. The, with the wall breakers, you must get right. Or otherwise, um, it's probably a losing battle. If you can see, the percentage is very, very low when I start hitting the town hall. 24%, as you can see. 27% and one star. So if you, if you mess it up and the wall breakers don't end up breaking through, your king and queen are most likely going to wander left or right, and um, it's really just a, a toss-up then. And that's sort of a luck of trying to hit 50% before you uh, have everything die then, right? Ex exactly. So it's a very risky strategy. However, um, in certain cases, you know, it, it's a very nice way to climb. That's really interesting. Um, thank you for explaining that. Now, as the guys start cleaning up stuff here, do you care about the resources you're getting at all? I see lots of, like, dark elixir gold and uh, elixir coming out of these storages. Do you care? No, not one bit. Uh, we, half the time we don't pay attention, or 99% of the time, I should say, we don't really pay attention to how much, uh, how many resources we get. It's really just about um, the cup count. So when you're searching on Jorge, how long does it take you to find a base, and do you ever skip bases? Uh, I usually don't skip bases. I try not to. Um, sometimes I do, depending on how I feel. If I don't feel comfortable, absolutely comfortable, I will skip uh, once in a while, but not very often. Uh, it does take a while to find a match sometimes. Um, could take up to three, four hours sometimes. So, um, three, four hours to find a match. Sometimes, ah. yeah. It's, it's actually oh, gotten wow. a lot better at post 
update with this new eight hour time limit it, it's getting people off so um there are more battles and defenses are getting stronger with the new inferno tower so you are seeing more matches as uh, than before but um the wait is still pretty pretty long as expected though wow all right that's interesting thank you very much for sharing and i really do appreciate it thank you jorge for coming on here and showing one of your attacks i know Everyone has been really looking forward to seeing one of these for a long time, so thank you. I do appreciate it. And hey, everyone, show your support by liking and commenting on this video, and I certainly hope to have more. Have a great time, guys, and flash on. Three.